this is Sharita, also known as Gracefully Natural, and today I wanted to come on here to show you six hairstyles that I go to when it's time for a wash day. My twist out is old, but I really don't feel like washing or shampooing my hair today. This twist out that I have is something that I did about a week ago on a Saturday. I twist my hair in individual twists. I wore it like that for a week and then this past Sunday night I took them down to, and unraveled them to wear them out like this but my hair is starting to get very oily. It's getting product build up and it's just kind of getting old but I'm not ready to shampoo it yet because I want to wait until around Saturday or Sunday. So if you're interested in seeing the six hairstyles that I go to when my hair is old and it's dirty and it's time to be shampooed then continue you to keep watching okay so the first hairstyle that I'm going to do and as you can see my roots are very puffy right here on my edges I've never really had um, thick edges when I was much younger I used to wear braids all the time and the braids took the edges out so since I've been natural I've been trying to grow my edges out and I am growing them out but it's slow growing out so it's it gets really frizzy around the edges right here and so I just have to work with what I have. It doesn't really bother me that much. I don't use a lot of gel for the simple fact that I am trying to grow my edges out. So in these styles that you will see, I'm not really going to use gel, but I do sometimes use gel or edge control if I need to. So the first one is gonna be a very simple style. I'm just gonna use what I have right now. I'm going to just take this side of my hair and I'm just gonna do just, I'm just gonna twist it up pinned it back and this will be the first hairstyle and I'll just leave this side out. So what I do is I kind of grab it a little firmly just because I told you that I don't really have thick edges and I just twist it back to right behind my ear. I take a bobby pin and I just pin it back and make sure it's secure so that it won't come out. And I don't like the way that feels. And make sure that you can't really see the bobby pin as well. So I take it, pin it back, make sure it's not visible. And then I fluff out my hair. And this is what it's looking like on this side. I'll show you what it looks like on the back. And that's pretty much the first simple. Okay, the second step style that I'm going to do also involves a twist but I'm going to be twisting this side but just half of it so that I'll, the front of my hair is twisted but the back is still kind of hanging so what I do is like to take a little section and I just twist that and then I just start to kind of just twist until I feel like I want to stop I usually try to go like right behind my ear and I pull that down and then I take this and I just move it to sorry, the back of my hair. I take another bobby pin and secure it. Make sure it's in there tight. Sometimes if you have thick hair like I have, you may have to use two bobby pins or you may have to keep trying to pin it until you get to a point where it's secure it doesn't feel like it's going to come loose and then here's the others well it's trying to come loose i'm really not that good with bobby pins these are the large size bobby pins but i just work with what i have and just make sure it's neat and this is a really easy low manipulation hairstyle that you can wear you can even tie it down at night you don't even have to take it down so that your front your edges will lay down and you can wear this for about two days depending on how you know you sleep and it'll stay and you don't have to bother your hair at all so here's this side So the third style is just 
since it's already like this, it's just putting it in a low pony. So basically what I do, I'm not gonna do any twisting. I'm just gonna grab the hair. And this is my thicker side right here. So I'm gonna make sure that I take that and smooth it as much as I can. Trying not to use any styling tools, trying not to use any more product. I am going to get the frizz here because my edges are not uh, thick at all. But that doesn't bother me because my hair is natural and it's not going to lay down straight unless I put some product on it to make it lay down straight like some gel or some edge control. And I don't really mind that at all. And that's a lot of hair that I'm trying to put in this pony. So I used the Ouchless um, hair tie to put on here and low manipulation. Again, you can also wear your scarf to tie down your edges. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to redo this style. You could just go another day or two with it. And then if you really feel in yourself, you can put some edge control or some gel around your edges, sleek it, make it more sleek, and just lay it down. But this works for me. I think it's really cute. It's not much. You can wear your hair to work like this, but I would, if I was going to work, I would try to uh, use a brush or something and brush this down because like I said, this is so frizzy right here. And I try not to put too much gel on it because I'm trying to grow it. So it works for me. And let me turn around. All right, the fourth hairstyle. Is I'm going to take some hair out again. I'm going to pull this back, make another low pony, and make it as low as I possibly can. Then, what I'm going to do is take some hair in the front. And I'm going to twist it tight because, again, my edges are frizzy. And then I'm just going to keep twisting this until I have all the hair in the front in a twist. And then I'm going to bring it back to my ponytail. I'm going to take a bobby pin, pin that down. And then I'm going to take the remainder of that hair and wrap it around the pony to hide it. And then place another bobby pin in there. And then I'm going to fluff that out to make it look a little bit more fuller. Fix that. Again, you can put edge control gel, whatever you want. But I'm not interested in putting that on my edges right now. And this, again, is a very low manipulation hairstyle that's really cute. You don't do much to it. No styling tools. It works if you just need to run somewhere. It even, it even works if you need to go to work, whatever type of job you're doing. It keeps the hair out of your face. And it keeps you from putting your hands in your All right, eyes. let's go on to the fifth hairstyle. So I'm going to take these bobby pins out. And the fifth hairstyle is a high puff. Again, one of my go-to hairstyles. And the way I do it, I'm really gentle with my hair. So, uh, and then, let me get my glasses back. Okay, so you can see that my hair is fairly long here. So I fluff it out like this. And then what I do is just start taking it around. I don't do it tight because I like for my uh, puff to look a little messy. It doesn't bother me. And I try to like tuck it under here just to kind of see how I want to do it how loose I want it, how tight I want it. 
And then when it's to my satisfaction, I only need about two or three bobby pins. So the first thing I do is pin it in the back so it won't unravel. And then I take, I tuck it, take another bobby pin, pin it underneath. Then I'll pin right here on the side. Not worrying about it being sleek. It's cute. You could play with it, fluff it out. Okay. Still with the high boom. I'm gonna take these out. I don't really have to take this down. So what I'll do is I'll just grab this hair like this. Leave some out just a little bit. Leave it like this. Then I'll take this part and I'll wrap it in a bun, kind of a tight bun here, not a messy bun, but kind of a tight bun. Take the bobby pin, secure that. Then I'll take the front and just kind of puff it up a little bit to camouflage it like it's part of the bun and you fix the front to your liking. Like if you like hair all in your face and you just leave it the length that you want it. Then you take your bobby pin and you secure that hair in front of the ponytail. It's gonna blend in, it's gonna look like it's a part of your puff. And then what you do is you just kind of fix your bangs the way you want. I have a lot of long pieces. You can brush this and smooth that down a little bit more. And then there you have a high bun with some bangs. Very easy to do. My hair is so long, I cannot have bangs, so I have to create some bangs. But I really like this hairstyle. It's real fun and kind of... And these are six hairstyles that I usually go to when it's time for me to uh, wash my hair. It's dirty, it has product buildup, it's oily, it has flakes, but I am not ready to shampoo my hair right now. So these are low manipulation hairstyles that you can do that you don't have to keep pulling and tugging on your hair. You don't have to keep your hands in your hair. Your hair is still growing, your hair is still healthy, and it uh, gets you through until wash day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. If you're interested in my content, 